Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Alfred and Eric from Cosmos looking at Rudiger Dorn's Mercado. It's a market game with an interesting premise. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes. So in Mercado, we are wealthy people and um, we want to show our luxury um, states what we have. And in this way, we are trying to, to show what we're having. So we have a lot of uh, coins in our purse mm -hmm. and we want to, to buy very expensive things so that everybody knows that we are very rich. So how we can do this, we have a purse, we have some money in it, we have coins and we have coins that are golden and silver, but also we have some quantified money here that's not valid, so we don't okay. can buy anything. But we have it and we have a back builder set here, so we try to get it out, the, the, uh, the quantified money. Um, we also have here some luxury goods, we have some, some perfume, or we have some guys we can contact, uh, contact and we can buy some privileges or we can come special money, money it's like jokers. Yeah, okay. um, yeah how it works, we are uh, getting three coins out of the bag, of the purse. That's and an if we, Yeah, that's an action we do. And then we have some coins and we try to get something here in the market. Um, every player has his side here and he can place some coins if it is possible to buy something. Okay. Here in case you can two different coins, maybe you get something like this or we say okay that's not enough for us, we try to get this one here. But here with a silver one so we have to maybe to wait. We can place them here maybe for the next round and say okay also we will be prepared for this. Okay. In case we, it's maybe not enough we have uh, also here a little um, privilege we can buy something extra we can two coins more but in case we don't need it maybe we wait around because the next next round we also turn okay. yeah the technical thing about that is that we already have to poker a little bit what the others will expect what the others will get uh, so we can maybe do some or build or buy some uh, things together yeah and in every round we only get three coins that's a little bit less um, two less obviously to get all of it yes. so we have to decide on which we will invest um, and maybe set uh, pressure on other players that they uh, if they invest on their side yeah with heavily yeah that they have to really get into it and doing other things too that we really want yeah right. um, the game actually has some very good points on it um, because on here on that victory trail yeah it's it's like a race we uh, we don't count victory points in the end and that one with the uh, most victory points win no we just want to break the starting point we, okay. we only have to reach that the first the first player who gets that that is a player who win yeah. Yeah. And, and the interesting point also is this is not only a counter uh, from one to to maybe 40 otherwise you have also action on this uh, counterfeit, you can maybe get extra points, or you get, or you can lose some of your counterfeit, or you get some extra. So okay. we have to take care where my position and what I'm buying here. So yeah. when you get points, and maybe you go some steps ahead, you get three extra points, or maybe you going on such a point, you get some extra counterfeit in your purse. Okay. What you don't want. Yeah. In every turn, you have to decide whether you have. Uh, you will buy something or just uh, give some coins to the different goods or putting all of your silvers, all of your coins back to your bag. Yeah, okay. that's why you every, every time you have to think about what's left in your bag. Yeah? Um, when will maybe the false money, the black ones, when will they came and how are my chances to get the things that are already on the table. Okay. Yeah. It seems very straightforward just with either take money out or take yeah. everything back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take love everything back. Yeah. I love though the idea that you you obviously can't look. Yeah. That, <laughs> I don't know who would buy that way. Yeah, but it's that, a it's an interesting approach it's, to it's a little bit heartbreaking, yeah. It's uh, you really want to know and uh, like that shaking your hands, they don't have to get that goblet. I really want it, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's a very good game, very short rules of course. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
you can play it with families uh, um, and you can play it with people who are not so confirmed with board games of course because the rules are short and very easy but the tactical movement around the game is very deep those that uh, even players with a lot of experience with board games are really able to have their own strategies inside strategies and uh, uh, have a very very good time with, ha with playing the game yeah all right. all right thank you very much you're Thanks. welcome